Hey everybody, let me show you what I got going on here today. We got a little Frankenstein going on here. So this is a 12 Pro that got wet. I opened it up, still had liquids, got rust marks all over the place. So what we're doing here is basically um, testing for you know the auxiliary components. So the screen, I have a new screen on it, connected there. A battery connected there over the top. The charge port connected there over the bottom. Cameras um, disconnected. No ear, I mean uh, no uh, uh, ear speaker connected. So basically disconnecting all those, replacing them here temporarily with known working parts to see if we can get a boot. And we're looking here. This is our amps. And it's a no-go. You see we get that 0.43 amps. Drops down, hits the zero. So we're still a no-go. Obviously we got nothing on the screen right down there. So this is a you know like a basic way of, of testing any of these components, right? We could change the screen, we could change the battery, we could change the charge board. Those are you know parts that could be changed. Ear flex. You know, ear speaker could be replaced, camera could be replaced. Those are all components that, you know, if your phone gets wet and any of those are causing a short, then replacing that usually, you know, you could salvage your phone. Uh, if it's not any of those, then it's going to be a board problem. Let's switch over here. So if it's not any of those, this is the basic test that we'll do. If it's not any of those, then it's a board level repair. And then they're really on a phone like this one that you know has rust and it could you know be seen that it has a lot of liquid exposure. It's not going to make sense because there'll be no. Uh, it's not going to make sense for for the actual use of the phone uh, because it'll have no warranty, and you know maybe down the line it has another another problem and maybe it can be fixed. Maybe it can't. So investing that time and effort into the repair um, generally doesn't make sense unless it's for data recovery so if it's for data recovery then the board can be repaired but it doesn't matter if the screen's not working if there's circuits that are not you know integral to the actual phone booting up to do a backup so when we do for data recovery it's a matter of repairing the phone just enough to be able to connect back up the phone and then whether there's sensors that are working or not ear speakers cameras all those kind of things if they're you know working or not working it really doesn't matter it's just a matter of fixing the board whatever shorts are there getting the phone backed up and then you have your data so those are the two approaches is data recovery yeah we go to the board if it's a minor liquid exposure many times the screen it gets changed and you see no other exposure and usually the phone is fine the most common uh you got the screen is very common the ear speaker flex or the ear speaker shorts out so that's common right because there's a hole there you know what it's not supposed to get in but it does and then the other one is the charge port the charge port obviously you know supposed to not get shorted out by water but it does <laughs> you know this phone here had um I believe the, the screen was an original screen, so how it got so much water inside like that, I mean, you know, I don't know, beats me. It must have been submerged. Customer says it wasn't submerged, but, I mean, it, it's got rust and everything, so it's obviously been, you know, days. I don't know how long that rust takes to develop, but it's got rust on all kinds of screws, so it's, it's in really bad condition. So uh, this is going to be a no-go uh, customer on state of recovery. We could proceed, but as far as the phone function... It's a goner, and that's what's going on right here, right now, the PC911.